from up here, you can really see the scope of the World Ag Expo. Thousands flocking here to Tulare to take in the latest in the industry, including, of course, farmers from Kern County. Day two at the World Ag Expo. Wound up being a pretty good day, didn't it? Jack Frey is on the lookout. Right here. World Ag Expo. Right here. Right here. Searching for the next big thing to help on the ranch. You know, if, if you're going to use it in Kern County, you're going to find it here. Frey is a farmer in Kern County. We typically got sandier soils down there in Kern County in the Shafter Button Willow areas. Yeah. And he's been coming to the expo in Tulare for quite a while. I was forced to come to the expo in the fifth grade and had to come and write a book report on a piece of equipment that I learned about on a school tour, and uh, I've been coming ever since. In those 30 plus years, he's seen the expo evolve from a local show to the international spectacle that it is now. What speed do you like to run this at? Today, he's looking for equipment to help with his crops, which include almonds, pistachios, and grapes. I'm looking at mulchers that are going to dress up our floor, get them flat. There's all sorts of new tech to see, and in the middle of it all, some companies are focused on a problem that isn't going away. You can't get any better irrigation systems than what you're going to find here. A low rain year so far has kept water conservation on farmers' minds in Kern, meaning that Frey and others like him need precision when it comes to watering their crops. I think the future of agriculture in California it, it solely depended on this. David Lindsay's focus is just that. He works for AgriValley, a branch of Jane Irrigation, who continue to put out smarter, more efficient ways for farmers to water. We can't, we can't make any more water. What we got is what we got. We just use, need to use it smarter. We, you know, we need to precision irrigate. They've already moved from flood to drip irrigation in a conservation effort, and soon they're hoping to get even more precise. Where we're looking at not even putting water on the surface at all and pretty much injecting it at the root zone so there's no evaporation. That type of technology will come in handy for farmers in Kern County. Kern County is, is, you know, part of the heart of agriculture for the world. Farmers like Frey, always on the lookout for the next big thing. Very good. In Tulare. Thank you for your time. Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.